fine arts doesn't really have set limitations. You know, you're not asked to work in any one media in any one form. You're really kind of allowed to be as expansive as you want and kind of dip in and experiment in many different mediums and um, experiment while you're here and really um, find your own voice. Fine art is really about concept and um, being responsible for your artistic choices. I mean, fine arts is really kind of about the discussion that like the work brings. They really give an opportunity for you here to kind of develop those things based on your own interests. I enjoy having the freedom to experiment with what I'd like to, and I chose sculpture because I knew I could interact with different media. There's an immediacy with painting that I haven't found with any other medium, including a computer. Um, I, you know, I have a direct communication between my hand and the surface that I'm working on. I wanted to explore what video art had to offer, and I wanted to explore the more theoretical aspects of art. Printmaking is always going to be relevant, just like painting is always going to be relevant. It's a different way of making an image. Ringling provided a lot of really unique opportunities. You do have the sort of privacy and individual attention, you know, coming from a smaller, more focused school. The city of Sarasota in general is a very supportive art community. Ringling has galleries on campus. That was a, a very good primer to uh, working in a gallery later on, after I graduated. And that helped me with my current position at MoMA. I would recommend Ringling as a place to study art, mostly because of the faculty. The faculty was definitely integral to me getting set up here in New York, and I still keep in touch. It's a really good jumping off point, getting you prepared for the next step in a professional art career. They're teaching you uh, professional skills, like how to uh, market yourself as an artist, how to get your work out there, how to put proposals together for gallery exhibitions. Everything professionally we need to know as an artist if we want to succeed when we leave here. I'm working for a company called Mad Creative Fabrication, and I'm going to be making scenic and prop design for Universal, Disney, all those big theme park companies. The only thing I could be really sure about is I'm just going to keep painting. I'm basically taking what I do for fun and making it what I do professionally.